I ditto. But that honestly was a really good one. Icebergy coming out, uh, coming out on top. But Tokyo Driftling definitely understanding that game. Uh, I mean, it was it was a close two war. It was one one two one two both ways. So yeah, Tokyo Driftling made a lot of good use of that far fetched in neutral to really stuff out a lot of the back uh, charge back X attempts from Bergy. And it put in a lot of effort, work for him in field, got, netted him a lot of wins, but Buggy just has slightly better fundamentals, I guess. Anyways, we'll be getting into the next game, and I'll be joined by Kamachi. Thanks so much, Stu. I'll see you guys later. See ya. All good. Hey, James, how's it going? Hello, Kamachi. I'm good, oh, how are this you? Is, this is a, uh, this yeah. is a tough one. <laughs> oh, we're we're seeing this matchup again, I think this is the exact matchup we commentated last time. Not the exact uh, player matchup. Last time it was Bag and Enigma. Yeah, one of your favourites. But this time yeah. we see Resident Australian, current and number one, oh. Antwerp versus the Running Southeast the Asian Pacharisu. number one. And, and uh, against very the good, Yimilto, very good support. Uh, uh, Antwerp must have known that. Uh, Patrice is uh, really good against uh, Evil 2 already. Patrice is almost up, and Donovan somehow taking mid stage and just kidding. Hands up with the, the mid stage control already. Plus, Enigma like, kind of showed. Enigma kind of showed that she uh, was in control there, but Antwerp finally able to take control back. Enigma though, just wanting to absolutely brawl in this against the Sceptile as Gardevoir. Very, very confident play. Probably, probably a good way to go about it if you want to be uh, want to garner that confidence. So here we go, the combo out of Antwerp. Unfortunately, dropping Ooh. it, but nice mediate Y. There'll be a shift. Back yeah, that field the, the mediate Y is such a good move from Sceptile. It's disgusting, honestly. Oh, the Pachirisu call already. I have just no idea that's a punish, grab. but... I think, I think it is, yeah, because... Um, There's not much God of what can do it after that. Yeah, no, all the... Character. Yeah, everything she threw out would just get deleted by Patchy straight away, though. Oh, getting snuck for the 8Y from God of War, that's unfortunate, and... Good, good placement oh, of that, that shift, way, yeah. That's fine. Ooh, does this... is oh, this a block this... string? Does she? Oh, the, the the tech coming out. So therefore, Antwerp now has corner. Nice. Press one button to get it. The Enigma needing to break out of this leech seed. Nice two wide. Just kind of doing what I was asking for. But Antwerp trying to find oh. the way in. Unfortunately, the magical leaf hitting yeah, uh, Antwerp's le approach. Leaf blade is uh, not a good uh, reversal of any kind. It uh, lost to like a magical leaf. Nothing loses the magical leaf. But, you know. <laughs> Oh, Leaf Blade, that did so much damage, thanks. The Ghost of Dan Dandy from Follow, what the hell? Wait, did- Ooh, Antwerp, Antwerp doing the patchy he... tech right there. Oh, that's- Straight through the burst wave, <laughs> the Australian, uh, the Australian, Australian love letter. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, oh, he gets it, he does it. That I'm jump like, should yep. be caught, yeah. But it was actually nice from Enigma, actually, backdashing the 5x after the, uh, that potchy call right there. Yeah, there were a lot of little instances there that, um, that you know, a CQC Gardevoir, you don't see it way too much, but here, I mean, you kind of can get away with it. Sceptile doesn't, Sceptile doesn't have an I-11 to really take advantage of, so Gardevoir can kind of do it, but Sceptile's still in advantage up close, I'd say, but Anika yeah. doing a really, really good job to be able to at least keep up and take that round, let alone. And we see the Magic Cup call here. Uh, time for Sceptile to play the game. And, uh, yep. <laughs> there's, the magic, there's, the, there's the magic cup. Good read on the CA. We're straight back into field phase. And Nima <laughs> took like 150 damage worth the chip during the whole magic cup phase. But she gave it straight back with that one grab and winning that field phase. Yep. She's on her way to get burst. Oh, God of was three stacks and only more. Uh, fortunate one stack here. He felt us off. If she uh, wants to use it, Miss CADC, I don't know what Anto was doing that. Uh, using the, the stacks. Oh, gets clipped by the, the bullet seed. Drops Good the corner, catch, unfortunately corner. dropping it, but still has the corner, so it's not yeah, a massive Carp is loss. Up. There. there it is. Yeah, <laughs> Carp up again. Oh, that's going to do a lot. They won't, this they won't lot KO. Damage. Yeah, they won't KO, but down to one, one HP. Does he actually yeah, has the burst here? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Keep he the dream alive. You've got to stop pointing, but it's been up for a while, I don't know. 
Ooh, getting caught Ooh. by that second projectile. Second one. Very nice. Yeah, Burst Carnival is actually uh, a good character, to be honest. Mm, Burst Carnival, oh. Burst Carnival's neutral Y. Good forward Y, though. Just breaking through anything and through a pad. That's that's a <laughs> that's game one to Enigma. What well. what a nice surprise seeing the uh, Gardevoir come out on top. It's a tough matchup. Yep. So I suppose uh... we did see it last time as well with a uh, Bag and Enigma. She knows yeah. this matchup. Any, any's probably been like practicing this matchup, because uh, it's 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 like nightmare fuel. Oh god! Mm. Oh no, not this stage. <laughs> I mean, Enigma definitely has a good opportunity to actually practice this one. Uh, there's obviously Bag in New Zealand. There's clearly and, Antwerp uh, here. And yeah, and then, and then there's also, also yeah, uh, Kaiko. Kaiko has a Sceptile. Kaiko from the Maldives. Um, but yeah, a lot of opportunities to practice it. All playing a little bit different, but I don't think she. I think she has that quick adaption to be able to actually play around that. But uh, so does Antwerp. Do, yeah, I mean, Enigma has also picked like Yvelta for like a specific reason. Then I think that reason will actually just me is because of our uh, Sceptile. I'm, I'm not too sure of the reason, but I'll, I'll have to check on that later. But uh, the yeah. cool here. I mean, I'll be interested to see if it does come into use at any point, though. We see a Leaf Blade getting hit with a uh, um, landing, I mean, with Antwerp. Now he has the corner pressure. We've seen this before. It's Enigma essentially having to try and find a way out of this while Antwerp just, Ooh. you know, cuts to try and netto uh, uh, A bit rough here. Ooh, very, very nice oh, chase, no. but Antwerp absolutely ready for that CA there. Here goes the combo. Good execution up, uh, straight back into field phase. A little, uh, little razor leaf versus magical leaf. Which oh. one wins? So here's, here's Patchy. Doesn't matter. JX yeah, coming in. There. Ooh, oh, he's trying to Yvelt and yeah, caught Antwerp This CA lands, yeah. Oh, but that's going to be oh. too early. And he's out. Yeah, he's able to get out of that one. Unfortunately, yeah, burst yeah, wave was... actually, burst wave allows you to um to block yeah, because it forces you into a block uh, uh block animation. Though, that's, yeah, Antwerp just bursting straight there. Antwerp just uh, pushing himself straight through that moon blast, and yeah, he can't just oh, take it. Oh, Antwerp, the, the, the scam, the Tom scam here. Uh, he I won't mean, have yeah. any uh, supports, but it's, it's fine. And he may have support already, so support chip probably as well. And sniped again by an 8 wire. Uh, that's, a, uh, that's a rough. I think, I think Enigma's running standard because I did see a little bit of meter as well, but it could also be whimsical. But um, yeah, Antwerp having to start with nothing and it's showing uh, Enigma currently with this uh, nice little lead at the moment, 259 to 540, though Antwerp These down to rage, we're back in field phase. Of work. We're catching uh, all of Antwerp's jumps. And uh, yeah, Antwerp Sapol is a jumpy character. Antwerp playing a bit more scrappy than what he usually does, though, and it's not really cool. paying off at the moment. And then in those two lot. seconds, uh, Enigma actually couldn't do anything because uh, she has yeah, Pat, he's out. too many uh, projectiles. The Avelto, Tempo. look at that shield. Getting that yeah, two, two hit side Y as well, that's a unfortunate situation. Ooh, Only getting, getting the first split. hit in, finally. Okay. Anto with the one HP. Uh, what can you do with this uh, insurmountable? Ooh, that is, that's that's a first just go step. for it. Removing some of the meter from the majority. It's a very. He's also good, uh... in rage, so you can. Uh, if it's, if it's a, okay, that's what it. Although, yeah, Enigma How takes was, the was... round. Enigma no, takes the round with burst. Enigma has like, yeah, and there There's you go. There's. I believe Enigma is running whimsical because yeah, she's using the same support, and um, yeah, the uh, support is charged. So, Avalto, all resources are available to Enigma. Antwerp still waiting on that Pachirisu. Has to wait just a little bit longer, Ooh, though. The shield, the shield break, break will that will take a valuable resource from Enigma, trying to take a little bit more, but Enigma absolutely ready. She went for shift. She went for shift. Uh... Getting a nugget for and never getting like small nuggets right there. If she gets a few more moves, there it is. That's uh, that's meter. She has all her resources back up, and so does Antwerp here. So, yeah, it's full resources that's... versus full resources. Pachirisu deleting a Veltal, so it's a little bit hard to place that one. 
Ooh, he is a Vault well, let's, let's see what Antwo does here in response. Uh, Ooh, committed to an option already. Didn't get the debuff from uh, Inviltal, so that's a unfortunate thing. But... Yeah, once again, unfortunately Enigma's been mistiming that though. Would this do it? No, it's going to shift first. Antwerp on his last legs, back foot, but Enigma putting up a good fight here. Antwerp in burst, really perfect block. No, oh yes Ooh, he, he will. Did. He did, nice. And this, this is going to do this is some a... damage. Yeah, Not in rage, that's uh, really good for Antwerp at the moment, since he is in, in rage. Yeah, oh, they're both cool. seeing on burst attack, that could have been it, but we will oh, do it. Antwerp here, bursting first. And Enigma uh, available to burst, mm -hmm. yeah. So. Nice. Uh, Pachirisu up. And oh no, the JX hitting! That's another time. <laughs> That's no. another time! Oh, Enigma Ooh. saying in chat, it's support you, I was wrong. But yeah, Ooh. Uh, Enigma taking that one. Nice yeah, that job, Enigma. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's a uh, tour, but close. That, 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 really <laughs> did, that, that did feel like a close set, honestly. Yeah, that, it was high octane. A lot of C uh, like CQC from a Gardevoir is always interesting to watch. Yeah, it is. and it's, uh, it's, you don't you never see see that in uh against that and against Septile, especially since uh he's uh, CQC and and his like mid range, especially is always it's really oppressive mm. to deal with. Anyways, I will I will leave you to it. I'll quickly let Antwerp onto the mic for the next game, which will be.